not the highest location in Delaware, however. It was the home to Delaware's best-known highwayman, Sandy Flash. A deserter from the British during the Battle of Brandywine, he became known for his Robin Hood tactics of robbing from the rich and giving to the poor. Legend has it that he attended a local meeting where authorities were trying to figure out how to capture him. When, at the end of the meeting, he rose up, robbed the ball, and got away. <laughs> Across the picnic grove was Tucker's Quarry, which mined feldspar in the late 1820s. The feldspar mine at Mount Cuba was used for making some of the first porcelain in the United States. Adjacent to the Feldspar Quarry was a Talbot Quarry, which was also mined for a number of years. In the 1880s, another rich vein of exceptionally pure Feldspar was unearthed and mining resumed. This is where the railroad way scale pit was the most likely constructed at the picnic road. The dam below the picnic road fed cider, saw, and grist mills off to the left of the train. The sawmill was used, uh, used a water turbine instead of a water wheel, and locks were cut into multiple planks in one pass by a multi-bladed, reciprocating spring saw. The cider mill processed 30,000 gallons of apple cider in the fall, while the grist mill ground grains with a four-foot diameter millstone. It's, most like, it's mostly downhill between the grove and green bed, so our engineer and fireman will have an easy time of getting us back to the station. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy the sights and sounds of railroading in the Red Clay Valley.
actually do it during the fall. Instead of like this, sit across from each other. You face at the forward so you can take your shots. I'm facing backwards so I can place my camera in a nice spot and get the forward shot. And not, you know, I not have to like really fight to get the, uh, get myself into a comfortable angle. Yes, this is much You could, you could you could take this from uh, you would take this from Greenville on the top of the train from Wilmington to here, and then this train would go from uh, probably hook up to the uh, up to the railroad and go to Columbus. And it would be
prior to the revolution. So, I don't know, I bet if you wanted to walk, I bet the, I bet the, the coach road ran along this track too. I wonder, like, it was uh, about 28 minutes down or up. I wonder if it's going to be, like, exactly. I wonder if it's, like, nearly identical pipe.
you know what would be a lot of fun? I bet. I bet.
bit longer going down the hill. You know, I've been coming up to the to the uh, to the crossings to longer because it's slow down more slowly. Thank mm -hmm. you. 